So, the mysteries of the BBV, the binary block voltage. It always strikes me as quite a simple module, but I guess it's quite different from a lot of the ways that things are done. Uh, it's, I kind of see it like a preset, a sequencer, but where the control method is done via these three binary, either on or off, logic controls. So I'm going to run through a couple of simple-ish examples of that. All I've got to demonstrate that is over here, I've got two just droning compact VCOs. Each one of those goes through uh, the, the dual filter, one side each, and then I've got VCOs. I've got a bit of modulation from quadrature signs and another VCO here, so that's just sort of droning along there. I've at the moment got it set to the 2 volt range output, it can go up to 10 volts, but for pitch sort of stuff, which is what we're going to be doing now, I'm going to keep it at the low range. So at the moment the LED shows that it's on this step here, 000, zero, zero. that's the binary bit there. So that covers two octaves range. So over there we've got one VCO, there we go, this one has got the uh, volts per octave coming from the binary block voltage. So if I control this manually, maybe I'll put this on a stand, yep. Oh, let's zoom in a bit there. So we've got these switches here. And these allow us either to manually control the, st the stage selection or we can use external gate or any voltage signal to control one or two or all three of these bits. So if I'll do it manually to start with, the middle setting says low, up says high. Low means zero, high would be a logic one. So if I toggle this first one, See it jumps to that step. If I toggle B, it should go down to this one. There. If I toggle A and B, go to there. So then if I toggle C, high, it takes the whole thing over there. And again the same movements based on those. So it's just drifted a little bit out, just a, just a touch out of tune there. Okay, so that's doing it manually. That, that's probably a bit fiddly for doing things, but you could maybe set up controls into those two and then manually flip that. What I'm going to show is if I zoom out a bit, Let's go down to show the joystick down here. I thought this would be a little way to demonstrate things. I'll take, you can use any, basically any signal that goes over a volt will be read as a high, a logic high. So here I've got the two touch plates there and when I hit one, it should, this first one, it should jump as though the A is being controlled and B will control the other one. We're going to break the centre. And then I can manually whoop, switch that. Could use the joystick actually to do that, couldn't I? Which ones? Oh yeah, that direction. Oh, switch that. So, that's a sort of quite manual, expressive sort of way of doing it. What I've also got, just off down here, I've got the, LX, the old trusty LXR, which is just providing a clock signal for there, into the dual divide. 
So you see that's flashing away and dividing it down. So I can take bits from that, I could also use the logic. That was another thing I wanted to show actually. These, um, I just momentary on off there. If I take one of those out into the logic, I could get it to, if I divide by two, there we go, that's on off. So you could use that to, one of those, to toggle between that's a nice little way of doing it so now let's take the dual divide bits out I'm well aware this is a very rambly little video so let's take a divide by two there and that's just going to keep on doing that sort of thing and then I've got divider B sort of clocking from the first the um, division A and also have it doing the same sort of thing reset it so they're in sync let's try that into uh, bit B they're both going at the same rate if I set two against three you see they sort of go that makes a nice little sequence two four So you can do interesting little variations with this, basically getting you to hop around on these different ones. And indeed, if I put them both to 2-2, two, two, you see they're stuck in those sort of... If I now do get the set, the divider B to divide the output of divider A, there, and see we get a four step sequence. It's basically like an eight step sequencer and if you had a um, three bit counter with a logic output you could get it to go as sort of straight da, 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 um, which might sometimes be useful but you know it's quite nice to pop all over the place as well. Hope that makes some sense. But anyway, that's a little overview of them. There's loads of different ways of controlling it. Oh yeah, maybe I should do the DDSR. I'm not going to do that now. Um, hope that made sense. Cheers.